welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and this is Rumor, and we just watched The Shed, which is a Shudder exclusive movie. Our film starts out like really, really depressing with Stanley's, like a brief history of his family. Um, his mom unfortunately gets very sick and his father just checks out and leaves him all alone. He finds himself in the uh, juvenile system and then ends up living with his grandfather, whom you get this very distinct feeling that their dynamic is not great because Stanley does have a black eye and uh, his grandfather kind of alludes to, well, I already taught you this once, so you're kind of like, hmm, totally punched that kid in the face. That's, that's really not cool. So... <sighs> With this poor kid, he's still pining for his uh, his crush, Roxy. His friend, Dahmer, is also just in a terrible... Everything's terrible. I, I just feel so bad for these kids in this movie. He, he doesn't have a great, you know, situation with his family either, and I feel as though the two have bonded over it. That's why they're such good friends. They've been friends for a really long time. And they're both picked on by uh, a bunch of bullies who keep bringing up the fact that the one bully, like, and Roxy at one point hooked up. And it's just, it's disgusting. So, another, bye! Another big uh, feature in this movie is Rando Vampire bites a local guy and... This vampire has no sense of timing, apparently, because right after he bites him, the sun is up, and he gets fried, turns to ash, and dude's freaking out, you know, parts of him are smoking, lighting on fire, so what does he do but find um, a hiding place in a shed? Just so happens to be the shed on Stanley's grandfather's property, unfortunately. So, Stanley does find out that there's something in his shed. Uh, trigger warning, he unleashes their pet dog into there to take care of it, thinking it's just some random dude just hiding up in the shed, and dog does not make it. And it's horrible. They don't show it, but it's enough to know that it's horrible. Um, <laughs> Stanley's grandfather then decides to take it upon himself to get rid of whatever creeper is hiding in his shed, and pretty much faces the same fate. So... I'm going to leave it off here. Pretty much it's Stanley trying to figure out like what the actual hell to do with this vampire living in his shed because like what would you do in that situation? I don't. I would probably just knock it down in the middle of the day and just get it over with, but that's not how this movie goes. I'm going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? I like that it was, you know, a unique take on vampires themselves. Sometimes it gets a little stale. Sometimes I feel like a lot of movies romanticize vampires. Like, I love Interview with the Vampire. Don't get me wrong. But vampires aren't these beautiful, like, luscious creatures. They're, they're parasites. Um, and I feel like this movie really showed that part of it. And I like that. Um... Also, like, you should watch What We Do in the Shadows, and the series is amazing. Completely off topic. I thought the gore that we did see was pretty decent. I like that um, a lot of the, the way things happen aren't exactly how you imagine them playing out to get to where you want. Like, this movie definitely shows that, you know... It's not always someone, like, throwing a stake at a vampire and it hits them directly the first time. Like, sometimes things happen. Sometimes your aim is off. Um, sometimes things dodge. It definitely didn't have, like, a warm, fuzzy ending, which was fine. Probably not, like, the best thing to watch in this climate right now just because everything's terrible. And there's a lot of stress. Like, you need a movie that ends on a nice, uplifting moment. And this definitely is not it. But I think under other circumstances, I probably would have appreciated it even more. Um, my dislikes. I felt like they employed that fake-out dream thing, like, one too many times. Just because I was starting to just really be over it. Like, I just... 
if you're showing me that something's happening, it better be happening at this point in the movie because you've already uh, used that, you know, little trickery like three to four times. But I mean, you know, it didn't really stop the story. It was just kind of like, oh, it's going to take like three more minutes to get back to like the action. And some of the pacing was a little bit off for me. I felt like some of it could have been cut out or sped up or, you know, three to four scenes could have just been alluded to in a conversation later. They didn't really need to show us every single thing. But I feel like that was maybe to fill out the running time of the movie a little bit more. Uh, the action scenes themselves were great. I felt like they didn't need any more, any less. They were good. Um, I would probably rate this like a 2.5 out of 5. Unfortunately, the groom was asleep for most of the movie. I think he woke up in like the last like third of the movie and watched it and was just like, are these zombies? Or wait, that guy's on fire. Is that a vampire? Like, wait, what's going on? So that, that took me out of the movie a little bit. But I think that, you know, at least the parts that he saw were really action packed. So that's a good thing. As I said, this is a Shudder exclusive movie. I watched it through the Amazon Prime app with my Shudder app. I'm sure that it's available in physical copy, probably streaming on other platforms as well. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? I'd love to know down below. Are there any other vampire movies you could recommend? I'm very picky with the vampire movies, but like obviously, I'm a really big Christian Slater fan. So that's why I like interview with the vampire so much, I think. I don't know that it's actually the movie. I think it's more the interviewer. But anyways, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I hope y'all are doing really well and I'll see you later. <laughs> Whoops. Check, check, check. Boom, boom, boom. You pretty girl.